3.28 a.m. Do you feel worthy? Do you feel as if you are worthy? Most people, they walk around and they look at all this other stuff and they say, you know what? I don't think that I am worthy of living in a place like this. Do you think that cockroach felt that way? Just a quick question. Do you feel worthy? because you have to really feel worthy. Once again, this is Sky with 4L Mindset. I will catch you guys on the next one. So one of the very best things that you can do in order to kind of surround yourself with people who have a lot of knowledge is by reading books. Just checked into my room. Got a nice little suite here. Beautiful view out there too. Sounds like amazing from here. But, yeah, so I actually just got in. We just flew in from Atlanta. One of the little tips or tricks that I use, and I use it on YouTube, uh, whenever I'm you know watching stuff on YouTube or whenever I'm using Audible. Audible is another uh, great one. You can download the books and speed things up. So being able to listen faster. And one of my little tips is if you set it to one and a half X speed, and it sounds too fast. Maybe the person is, is a fast talker and um, that's that's too too fast for you. What you can do is set it one notch higher to the maybe 1.75x speed. And then it speeds up even more. And then what you can do is once you listen to 1.75x speed for maybe a minute or 30 seconds, bring it back down to 1.5x and it's going to sound slower. So you, know, you only have so much time in a day. And, you know, if you're like me, you know, one of, one of the things that I love to do is to learn. And I will constantly learn anytime I'm driving. I don't listen to music anymore. You know, very, very seldomly will I, will I listen to music. Sometimes I do, but most of the times I'm in, I'm in the car and I'm learning. I'm listening to a book, to an audio book, or I'm listening to, you know, maybe a TED Talk on YouTube, something like that. That really, by surrounding yourself with those kind of people, you know, flooding your subconscious mind and your conscious mind with that kind of good input is one of the best things that you can do. So... And especially if you don't have access to, to certain people, you know, you could be anywhere in the world and you literally can be, it's like having them right next to you. You know, when you're listening to, it's like going, going and, you know, traveling, you know, we, we are extremely fortunate this day and age to, to have, you know, the internet. And, and as long as you've got that internet connection, even in even the most remote place in the world, you can be around anybody that you want to. So, you know, the old saying you know, you are the average of the five people that you hang around the most. Well, you can hang around anybody that you want to. Millionaires, billionaires, you know, just quit watching all the drama and, and stuff, you know, that's going to just rot your brain. Watch the, the A&E biographies. Watch TED Talks. Watch, you know, listen to, listen to Audible. Listen to, uh, listen to good books, you know, nonfiction books. That's really one of the best things that you can do. But, um... 
I'm about to go eat right now. I will uh, catch you guys later. Bye.